What y'all doing out there in TV land, man? If you ain't tuned in to Kofi's universe, you slipping. That's why I go get all my info for Black Culture. He do the best album reviews I seen. You know what I'm saying? Dope rap reaction videos. He do it all. You heard me? Go to Kofi's universe right now. Subscribe to his YouTube channel. Man, stay in tune, loved one. That's how it's happening. Me. <laughs> YouTube salute. So the brat wants all the smoke with Bow Wow for dissing JD. Let's talk about it. If you're new to my channel, thumbs up the video, hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. So on the God Show, JD said he created the popular BET show 106 and Park because there wasn't a black TRL. So he did that. 106 and Park was created by me. I created the show for Bow Wow. I was watching MTV and they had TRL. They catered to NSYNC, the Backstreet Boys, um, anything white that was coming out that was pop. They was allowing these kids to scream and holler at them. I called Stephen Hill and I said, we need to make a show just like TRL with Bow Wow because he was a rapper. He was a black little young boy rapping nobody on tv was 12 years old anywhere creating this type of pandemonium then bow wow came through and claimed that was a lie jd ain't create 106 and part stop the cap um stephen hill rick grimes and all the great people in the bet office and staff created that show all i did was capitalize off all of what they created and made it mine I would know, and I am Mr. 106. I would never take away from someone's creativity. Here's what he deleted. I just wish he just do his own thing without having me, without bringing me up. I wish dude the best of luck in his career and his life. We did some amazing things together, but that chapter is closed. So the brat, <laughs> she put this on her um, social media and said, man, what the fuck? I really don't have time or patience for this shit, but I got both today. Bow, what I can't let you do is discredit my big brother, JD, who you call your dad for so many years, because that is pretty much the role you gave him instead of saying, hell no, he rocked with it. You are being so rude and disrespectful to the person who believed in you, nurtured you, made you a complete star, wrote all your hits. Accepted the challenge when Snoop brought you to him. He has never done anything to you but help. I ain't finna let you drag the most non-confrontational person who loved, cared for you, and spoiled your ass for years. He isn't and never would discredit BET executives. He discussed creating 106 before it was created so black people could have our own TRL. No cap. If this is what you want to do, let's fucking go. Pull up, little nigga, with your disrespectful ass. So ungrateful. Damn. You really on some bitch shit right now. Now you know I got all the receipts and I know the whole stories to a lot, a lot. Don't do this. Respect a legend. Respect a cultural icon. Respect the person you made your career what it is. I'm asking you now to please stop. I'm sorry, Jermaine Dupree. I cannot be silent about this shit any longer. She said on IG. All right. So what do I think about this situation? I didn't, I didn't know um, JD even had something to do with 106 and Park being created. Because remember, they had um, Homegirl on there, AJ and Free. They was actually on there before Bow Wow and that other girl, Roxy. Well, Roxy came on there with Terrence. That dude was a Terrence Martin? Terrence, yeah, Terrence Martin. They was on there. But I remember Bow Wow was on there too at one point. But I didn't know JD, JD was talking to the executives. Or maybe I could be wrong. So this is all kind of new to me. How do I feel about Bow Wow disrespecting JD? I feel like I keep saying this over and over and over. People use social media as a way to air out their dirty laundry so everybody can hear it. I feel like whatever you got to say to somebody, say it to their face. Because I have things I like to say to a lot of people, but I would never say on social media. I just say it to their damn face. I'm old school like that. I only talk behind your back. That's me. There's a lot of motherfuckers I don't like in this world. Don't get me wrong. I'm talking about I know them, but I'm never going to throw them out there because that's punk shit. I go straight to them. 
especially he deleted his um, post and people saw it. They already made a screenshot. And it was already um, going viral. The brat, he did what she had to do. He did what she had to do. There ain't nothing wrong with that because JD did a lot for her, did a lot for him, for Criss Cross, and other groups, other artists. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, and I like JD as far as him being a great producer, musician, you know, he, 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 he's on point, man. He's always been um, just always down for ATL and the things he's done. He dated Janet Jackson and stuff, but I don't know, man. Like, I feel this fool Bow Wow, he's just always, he's always doing some crazy shit. Like, he got into it with the um the female wrestler, Jay, um, what's her name? The grill, the, the gill, whatever. Got into with her that wrestles for AEW. Yeah, he 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 he's always just doing something that's like that's just stupid. Her name is Jay Cargill. My bad, Jay Cargill. That's her name. But it's just like, dude, why? You know what I'm saying? Like, people always want to come for your neck. Just chill the f out. You doing too much, dude. You gonna mess around, and get beat the fuck up. Somebody gonna knock his ass the fuck out. I, I'm I'm being real because everybody not gonna put up with this shit. You know, you're doing too much. You're saying too much. I understand you probably how you feel about JD. And you can, that chapter, the chapter is closed, but the dude gave you light. He gave you where you, if it wasn't for JD, you wouldn't be where you at right now. Regardless of the chapter is closed. There's a lot of people I might not mess with right now, but they did support me and help me. I can never lie about that. I ain't going to never disrespect the people that helped me. If you never did shit to me, F you. That's how I look at it. As far as looking out for my life, I ain't just talking about my parents. There's people that paved the way. I'm talking about people in the military, people when I was in college, people that I was in high school, middle school, some of my basketball, football coaches. I thank them. I appreciate them. My MMA coaches back in the day. You know, even, you know, there's people who always show me light. Some people I've met that's, you know, that's gave me wisdom. Even if I never hanged out with them later on in life not because we fell out just you know people move and maybe it was just a once in a lifetime thing i'm always going to show gratitude but this guy right here i don't know if the brat whoop his ass <laughs> i'm not gonna say yes i'm not gonna say no that's between them go ahead knock knock yourself out also comments below hope smash black panther the like button subscribe to my channel click the bell icon to be notified when i upload new content and go live Want to support? Donate to that channel. Patreon, patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs. Everything's in the description. Until next time, salute.